Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part 3. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about global object in Node.js. So first thing first, what basically global object? Global objects are those objects whose scope is through entire application. It means that the properties and the function of any global object can be accessed via any pages of the entire application. If I back to our editor, now inside this, this is the file or the code that we have developed inside the previous video. So before going through Node.js, let's understand about the global object inside our browser or inside simple JavaScript. So if I back to Chrome, now open about inspect, now go to console. Now here we are going to execute some of the code to understand about what basically global object in our browser JavaScript. So as we know that window object is the global object of JavaScript which is created while running our code inside browser. So if I make some zoom and pressing enter, now as we can see that inside this window object, we have several properties as well as several functions we have. Also if I collapse this, as we know that we always execute in our JavaScript something called console.log and inside this, if I pass any simple message, let's say simple message and this is Printed inside console. Console.log is a property inside window. Either we can simply call console.log or window console.log. It will work same. So if I pass simple message here, let's say simple message to. Now as we can see that it is not printed in our console. Also Let's suppose that we are going to use some of the functions, something like say clear interval, set interval or let's say clear timeout, set timeout. All these functions are defined inside this global object window. So let's say that either we can use simply set timeout. Now inside this set timeout, we can pass a function. This function will execute after some delay. It means that after 3 seconds, if I pass here, so after 3 seconds, this function is going to execute. So let's say that console.log message will fire after 3 seconds. Now if I press enter, now we have to wait. 3 seconds and after 3 seconds the massive will be fired and as you can see inside this output screen. As well as if I get rid of that, instead of set timeout function, we can also use it as window.setTimeout. It will work as the same. So if I pass here, let's say function, this function is going to execute after some delay and delay we have to define inside the second parameter of set timeout function. Now inside here, let's say console.log, let's say that message to will be fired after 3 seconds. Now if I press enter, we have to wait and after 3 seconds, message will be automatically fired by using set timeout function. So either we can use simply console.log or we can use instead window.console.log. So for the simplicity, we just actually get rid of this window.prefix from our console.log, set timeout, clear timeout, something set interval or the clear interval, all the functions and the properties. Simply, again if I type let's say window, pressing enter and if I open up the object and check the availability of the properties. Now as we can see inside this, like set interval, set timeout and so on. Inside this properties list, we have several options. This is 
the global object of our browser JavaScript. Also, let's declare some variable. Let's say if I want to declare some variable, let's say my variable equal to and inside this I am to store some value. Let's I am a simple variable and this variable we have defined inside this console. Remember, while defining any variable, it is going to store inside the window object. So either we can call simply console.log, let's say my underscore variable pressing enter, this is the value or we can simply call window, let's say my variable. So if I press enter, now this is the value, it means console.log dot my variable so either we can simply retrieve the value by using my variable or by using window.my variable output will be same it means that all the variables when we declare inside browser javascript then it is going to store inside our global object that is window object so either we can retrieve about the properties and the function either with the simplicity as what we have seen or by using window prefix as well. So this is all about our global object of JavaScript. Let's see about in case of Node.js. So if I make one more file and let's say simply object.js or let's say here I'm to define let's say simple object.js and we are going to open that file. Now in case of Node.js if we console about let's say console.log and simply write window object so let's see that what will happen back to terminal and if I increase about the zooming and let's say here note and here we have to pass the file name as the argument so we have called simple object.js now if I press enter now we have some error error is that window is not defined it means that window object is only available at the javascript which is at the browser level but in case of node.js it is not defined so how can we find about the global object in node.js so remember we have inside node.js name with the global property or the global object we have so if we write instead global save this file back to terminal run this file and as we can see here global object we have inside this we have clear interval clear timeout set interval set timeout and so on so either we can simply if we get rid of that or simply make a comment of this line so let's say that console.log let's say that simple message so if I save run this file now as we can see in the output we have simple message so remember this is either simply we can call console.log or simply let's say global dot console.log and inside this we can write simple message to here so save this file run this file and we are getting the same output also if I write something set timeout here function inside the second parameter we have to pass our delay seconds and let's say that inside this let's say console.log we are running here so if I save this file or simply make comment of this line back to terminal run this file and after three seconds this file is going to execute and execute it successfully again if I write something instead of set timeout if we write let's say global dot set timeout it will going to execute the same what we have seen before and this is the expected output so if we back to editor now let's see one more feature something if I go here and make comment of the line so let's say that I'm to define a variable let's say that simple 
underscore variable and inside this let's say this is a simple message now save this file now if I write let's say console.log console.log and simply inside let's say pass simple variable so save this file back to terminal run this file and this is the output actually we are getting now as we know in case of JavaScript as we have seen that while defining any variable it is going to store inside the global object so either we can retrieve this value by simple typing this variable name into the console or by using this window dot prefix with this variable name but in case of our node.js it is not going to happen so in node.js simply we can use the concept something called global dot simple variable in the same way what we have written inside the browser so if we back to terminal now run this file now as we can see that we are getting undefined value so here we have a question question is that how can we then define the variables at global scope so that the different different pages means modules inside node.js can access that variable also let's say let's see that we have a variable with some value and we, we are going to define the same variable with the same name inside this file then the value will be override so how can we pr protect the two different values of a simple variable also how can we make a variable to a global scope what basically how can we achieve inside node.js so all these concepts we will see inside the next video so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day